in this case and in this short introduction video i would like to introduce our talk at extra 2022 on the paper titled multiplayer and functional encryption for pipeline asset control so this is a joint work between Hifan and david Bashar. the main context of our paper is the multiplayer and functional encryption paradigm or mcfe in short where there are multiple clients each of them has their own private encryption key so that they can individually and independently encrypt their data under some tag which can be viewed to specify metadata such as timestamp. Moreover, the system authority that given a functional description can output a functional decryption key so as to combine the client's ciphertext as long as they are under the same tag and obtain the function evaluation on the client's combined data. So this gives us some sort of control over the information revealed about the client tag through the function evaluation. However, one observation is that the functional decryption key once delivered to the receiver, its usage can be limited. That is, the decryptor can use this key in whatever way he wants. So this can be problematic in some setting where the decryptor is malicious himself. Therefore, we would like to have some control over the decryption key. And to do so, the clients now, at encryption time, we encrypt the data with respect to some specified attributes. And the authority is given not only the function description, but also some policy to control the client's attributes. So, for instance, initially we imagine that the malicious decryptor receives some functional key, which allows him to decrypt the client's ciphertext. Later on, the clients in the system want to revoke this malicious decryptor from decrypting the future ciphertext. They can do so by encrypting the individual data under some different attributes, which are still valid with respect to some other functional decryption key which can be possessed by honest decryptors, for example, so as to allow a correct decryption. However, concerning the malicious decryptor, as soon as he tries to decrypt the newly encrypted client ciphertext, because there exists the attributes that will not satisfy the embedded policy of this adversary key, the decryption will not succeed and thus the adversary cannot obtain the functional evaluation anymore. Therefore, in some sense, we have revoked the malicious decryptor. So more generally, in the paper, we study this problem of multiple clients for functional encryption with five and access control over the decryption key so that the decryption outputs a function evaluation only when every client's attributes satisfy the embedded policy. Otherwise, the decryption algorithm returns nothing. In particular, we focus on the function class that are computing in the product and the asset control can be expressed using linear sequestration scheme. So we propose MCFE candidates for inner products with asset control through LSSS, achieving adaptive security in a random protocol model, and linear total communication. This improves upon prior works, which focus either on single plane schemes or had quadratic total communication. So in the longer talk, we detail more about the context with comparisons to previous works and highlight some technical ideas which allows us to achieve our results. Thank you for your attention and see you soon at Azure Crypt.